<laughs> oh, all right, and so, uh, let me, Adam say, let's jump in more with that. Seven national champions, or championships. Yeah. I think, how many All-Americans? Too many to count, I don't even know at this point. Yeah, I think about 16. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> Louise. Yeah. Okay, I, was, I wasn't sure to trust myself <laughs> if it was really double digits like that, but yeah. Yeah. All right. And Welcome back to another episode of Talking While Running. Super special guest here today, the one and only Sydney Kidd Budai. Yep. Did I get it? Yeah, perfect. Okay. There's a video of the Tin Man people butchering your last name. <laughs> yeah. And it's not that hard, guys. Sydney Kidd Budai. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, dude. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I've been hanging out. It's uh, it's a great day, enjoying spring coming in and. Uh, you know, training going well. So. Okay, well, we'll jump into it. You mentioned the weather. Sid and I have done an episode before <laughs> in horrible weather that we had to scrap. So I'm glad we were able to make it uh, work today. But yeah, I want to start with Ultra, your new brand. Yeah. New shoes. I don't know if it's because they knew we were doing an interview, but I've been seeing their ads on Insta. Yeah. And I'm loving the shoes. Yeah. yeah I mean, so how's it been? Take us through that. Yeah, it's, it's been great. You know, I've been super thankful to just have a have a brand support me. You know, it's it's kind of it's kind of a hard thing to do in the sport, and I'm just super thankful to have that as kind of a first point. But I've also just enjoyed working with them and. Uh, I've been enjoying the shoes a lot. Nice. You know, I think uh, he swagged out. Yeah, some of the dripping. I made sure to break out everything I had. You yeah, know? yeah. Uh, but yeah, they're a great, great brand, and they're looking good. And I think historically, you know, uh, Ultra maybe didn't have the looks, but now I think right. they're really getting into it. And they're a sharp shoe. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a good looking brand now. Yeah. And I think uh, it's it's only going to get better from here. Yeah. Well, congrats, and then. More congrats in order since our last episode. You've been engaged. Yeah. Lovely partner named uh, Carly. I have not met, but give yeah. her my hello. <laughs> yeah, of course. How did, and that was in Iceland. Yes. Your engagement. So take me through that. Yeah, yeah. So we 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 taught, we went to the trials, the Olympic trials in 2021, and after that we uh, we were like, oh well, we don't have a vacation. It'd be cool if next summer. We had something to shoot for. Yep. Uh, and we both landed on Iceland as like a bucket list place to go to, and uh, and so the the seed was kind of planted nice. from summer of 2021. Uh, I was able to save up some money, like you know, won some money at a few races. And, oh uh, yeah. You know, I was able to get a ring and uh, <laughs> plan for. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. You for, paid for it with winnings. Yeah, yeah, with racing. That's rings. savage. Yes, the USA. Uh, USATF 5K champion. Third? Uh, third place, pay for it. So. All right, yeah, yeah, that's sick. That's one of the best <laughs> nuggets. I think we could stop the episode. <laughs> no, um, what we're just turning here in Boulder, all the run details I should mention will be on Trackster after this. Um, okay, back to Sid though. So, you're uh, born in Tanzania, come over to the States, yeah. am I right? No, no, born in California, but oh, you were, but moved to the, but moved to Tanzania quickly after. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. I'm a fool. Okay, so, but you grew up in California. Yes. Okay, orange, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay, so how did you get into running originally back in the day? What was your, you know, maybe the first memory that stands out? That's like, I think I'm a runner. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I couldn't say it's a, it's a memory necessarily, but uh, between my my dad from Tanzania and my adoptive dad in California, uh, they were just always runners. And so oh. it was kind of something I I was kind of just like raised into, born into in, in a way. Yeah. And I always knew that I'd give running a shot. And uh, I remember my first chance at being competitive was like the fifth grade presidential mile. Oh yeah. And You're you know, a weapon, I bet, at that. I, <laughs> I, you know, honestly, I, I was, you know, looking back, I wasn't as fast as I thought. I, I ran 7.53 for the mile <laughs> in fifth grade. Respect, and, yeah. Uh, I thought it was great, but I mean, 
I know there are plenty of fifth graders that would <laughs> beat me by minutes sure, <laughs> at sure. this point. But nowadays, they're yeah. running sub four. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so it's like, but I really enjoyed that. It was, it was like super fulfilling, and it kind of like ignited, mm -hmm. you know, the rest of my career. I think. Another seed planted. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, and then, so you went to D two Adams State. Some of the uh, best singlets, obviously, in sports. Yeah. Jerseys are in D2. Yeah. Want to jump in right there. Yeah. Take me through your top three D2 uniforms. Okay. Other, okay. Other than Including Adams. Including Adams. Including yeah, Adams. Yeah, okay. Course. Number one Adams. Okay. Uh, you know, number one Adams, let's see, I think. Which one of Adams is your favorite? Ooh. Um, I would say the, the one that I wore my final year with the pinstripe. Okay. We'll pull neon. it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Neon green shorts. Oh, yeah. Like neon I know. green and uh, dark green shorts. So, number one. Was that the seventh title in those? Uh, yes, I think I think my seventh title was in there. I do research <laughs> once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, let's go. I'm going to go number two. Mm -hmm. Definitely one that maybe my Adam State teammates may get uh, mad at me for, but uh, the Colorado School of Mines. Uh, All right. The, the, Golden. The, the, the diamond. Yeah, uh, pattern. Yeah, that is. I, I kind of like that. It's a, it's an interesting uh, singlet. Yeah. And I, I feel like I, I recognize it. I That's recognize the, them all the time. You guys have beef now <laughs> yeah. with your teammates? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you know, I think, you know, with them being the other Colorado school, that's right. uh, very good. It's uh, you know, they're the they're the rivals for sure, sure. a majority of our of my time at Adams. And throw a bronze medal out there. <laughs> yeah. And then, let's see. Let's. I'd have to think. I think I, I did discuss with Lexi Zeiss, uh -huh. another uh, D2 legend. I liked hers too, the uh, Dakota. Yes, yeah, it was just blue and. Yeah, it had that the, one was more classic. Yeah, just yeah. a more classic one. I'm, I'm trying to think now. I, I feel like uh, maybe it's Minnesota Duluth. With okay. The purple singlets. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, I think that would be my third. Pick. All right. Yeah. I'm excited for this TikTok clip already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <gonna> be fire. <laughs> oh, all right. And so, uh, let me, Adam State. Let's jump in more with that. Seven national champions or championships. Yeah. I think. How many All Americans? Too many to count. I don't even know at this point. Yeah, I think about sixteen. Jeez, yeah. Louise. Yeah. Okay, I was I wasn't sure to trust myself <laughs> if it was really double digits like that, but yeah. Yeah. All right, and then I think you're the three K and five K school record when you left. Uh, I I just had the five K. Okay. Uh, I did. Ha I had like the official D two record in the three K. Uh huh. Uh, because of you know two hundred meter bank versus okay. oversized. Nice. But you know somebody had run technicality. Yeah, technicality. <laughs> David Ribich actually had. Oh, shut up. Seven fifty on an oversized. And okay. So okay. At the time of my graduation, he had it. Okay. Uh, what? Which of the titles stands out? Which of the titles? Uh. Or your favorite race? I don't know how to phrase it, but just. Maybe yeah. not even the best performance, but just kind of the warmest memory. Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, I like to think of 2017 cross country. Uh, I didn't win it individually, but nice. we won it as a team. The women, the women's team also won oh, their sick. team title. Uh, and it was just a year that I, for the first time in my career, had like dealt with injury and I just became the, the fifth man, just another, you know, kind of like a, oh, wow. another cog in the system, cog in the system right. you know, and I wasn't like the heavy hitter that year. And low stick. Yeah, just the low stick and, or, or not the low right, stick, right. I guess, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, it was just nice to rely on my teammates because sometimes when you have success at the front, yeah. you feel like you have to uh, be the one to always right. uh, pull the team forward. And it was great to kind of relax and let them do their job. And all I had to do was just hang on to the back. Yeah, that's a great, yeah. well said. Yeah. Um, so you go on from, well, we could go on about the college days forever, but I would say, let's go one more, like biggest lesson, yeah. just from college running where you're like, ooh, I took, you know, that one. Maybe an L, but in the form of a lesson. Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, I, I think referring to like, the Colorado School of Mines rivalry, you know, if you call it, or, yeah, yeah. or even other school rivalry, Western or Grand Valley State or whatever it may be, yeah. 
I, you know, I think at times I, I, I wanted to beat those teams so bad that I almost had negative emotions wow. towards those people, you know? <laughs> okay, and, so we did touch on it already. You know, and, and I think in the end it's just running and it's just sports and, and I don't think I should have such harsh feelings about anyone in the sport. Yeah. But at one point I did and wow, okay. you know, I, I That's think good. I think that being a pro and being just like kind of unattached from a team or or you know, or kind of being in a place that where school you're, loyalty. Yeah, yeah, you know, like not having that school loyalty where like every performance of mine benefits the team. Yeah. Has just kind of opened my eyes to it. That like I just want to perform well and I want everyone else to perform yeah, yeah. as good as they can as well. Compete with. Yeah, and I want to compete, but I don't want to hinder anyone. Yeah, yeah, right. You know? Okay, we'll, we'll flip here. That's a good point. Colin, your next chance, if you could, please. This episode is brought to you by Gooder. Gooder are the best sunglasses. Whether you're running, cycling, whatever you're doing, you want to wear Gooder shades. And they're polarized, ultra lightweight. They got the best colors, as you can see with Sid, swagging out. Check out Gooder, all the stuff below, and thank you. All right, we're back. Shout out Colin Wong, by the way. He'll be created behind on yeah. uh, for driving. I give him all the credit. He's also the coach, but yeah. Nathan doesn't do much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Uh, what's going on over there? Yeah, I think... Uh... Hold on, Colin. <laughs> okay, so where were we? We were... The lesson from college where you want to be. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, if I could wrap it up, it's just more of, uh, yeah, yeah, learning to, uh, learning to compete over learning to, like, just want to beat somebody. Or right. just, you know, it's like, it's not about just beating somebody, it's about competing and pushing the other people. And, you know, you hope to finish ahead of them, but you don't hope to, you, know, you don't wish poorly upon, you don't their wish poorly yeah, upon yeah. them, and I, and I think I got into that cycle because I, I wanted to keep winning as often as I could. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Um, all right, and then since those days at Adam State, you've gone pro, of course. Now running for Roots and Ultra uh, out here in Boulder. You, you initially had linked up with Tin Man, another big group. Yeah. What was kind of the transition out of Adam State into the Boulder pro scene like, and how did that kind of group? Uh, come together to fit with you. Yeah. Uh, looking back. Yeah, yeah. I, I think at the time I was, uh, it was, I felt like it was the right fit for me. I think it it helped me learn how to work hard in, in a different way. You know, like mm. I was lucky enough to have a full scholarship to where, you know, my housing was covered for. Yeah. My meals were covered for That's at Adams, awesome. and you know, super thankful for that. But once I got here. It was kind of a wake-up call of, okay, like, I'm not going to just always have... Real life, too. <laughs> yeah, like, everything paid for. And so I had to learn how to just, like, have an, a totally normal job. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, worked at Hopefully a... Hopefully, no. Yeah. <laughs> Talk a, really. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had a, you know, I started off at a running shoe store, uh, then a grocery store. Yeah. Then the feed, which is, like, a, yep. a warehouse for, you know, sports nutrition stuff. And... You know, kind of worked up my way through these totally normal jobs and learned how to work hard in, in the real world versus, nice. you know, just getting up to go run and then laying down all day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the biggest kind of lesson from that, then? Yeah. Managing a job. And yeah, managing your job and also being appreciative of what you have when you have it, you know? Right. Because I, I certainly wanted to have a full-fledged contract at that time. Sure, sure. I, I just I just couldn't couldn't have it at that, at yeah. that point. And, uh, now I do, and I think it's it's taught me, you know, it's taught me lessons I'll take on for the rest of my life, you know, not okay. just in pro running. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then moving on from Tin Man and into Roots, what, what do you kind of feel like looking back on that experience? What was life like for Sid going through that and, you know, any feelings about it? Yeah. Either I, way. I think I, at that time, I, I think as I was making that transition, I... I really had to have an honest like conversation with myself as to how much I wanted to pour into running mm. and how much I wanted to pour into the rest of my life, which, yeah. you know, which was work and and my relationship. Yeah. And uh, you know, it was around the time that I that I was able to start working with and have like this more 
full-fledged job. Yeah, yeah, structure. Uh, structure and like got to have a bit more like better pay obviously right. from a running store in a warehouse and it, it paid off you know having this like honest conversation with myself to where I, I put in a few more eggs into the general life bucket nice. rather than always just running always running you Dude, know? great lesson again. yeah it's been fact sick and I mean it's definitely you're still running at an insane level. I want to make that clear with Roots, especially. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 101 half miler or half marathoner. <laughs> yeah. And uh, 1322 p- 5k yeah. PR. Yeah. You mentioned the third place, the road champs. Yeah. You didn't run it this year. Yeah. What's uh, coming up? What's percolating with Sid in the training? Yeah. I'm, I I might. I have some inside sources, but I want to hear from you first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm uh, you know, getting back on on track. It's uh. The fall was a bit tough, but these last few weeks have been good, and I'm, I'm hoping to run fast at uh, the Project 13.1 at the end of this month. Nice. Uh, I don't know. It might be might be out after that fact, but right, so right, maybe. Hopefully, you can look back and I've run fast. That's already. right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so what, what are your post-race thoughts? <laughs> my post-race <laughs> thoughts. Are, yeah, exactly. You shoot me a DM. With, <laughs> okay. With yeah, what yeah. You think. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, so that I'll, I'll run a half at the end of the month. I'll hopefully, you know, kind of mix it up in some track races in April. Hopefully yeah. just one or two, yeah. like a 5K or 10K. Yeah. And then, you know, getting ready for an even bigger race. Okay. Uh, at the end, <laughs> okay. you know, in, in the late spring. And yeah, so, yeah. Well, we'll just say stay tuned. Yeah, Follow stay tuned. us in <laughs> on Insta. And, well, I won't say Trackster, but we won't say the other either. <laughs> just follow us in. Oh, no, you can, I mean, I, I can throw things up up there. Okay. All right, follow us in on Trackster. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, and then you're working with Roots and Hanson, like, what kind, uh, Coach Richard and Hanson. Yeah. What kind of uh, peek behind the curtain can you give us on the training philosophy? And also, we've had some of the folks on great personalities on the yeah. team. <laughs> What are some workouts like? Who's got the banter? Yeah. Set the scene. Yeah, no. So, I'd say if I could, you know, with a few words explain Richie's training. Yeah. It's just that it's it's simple and, you know, it's it's all very, like, foundational. You know, it's mm. he, he always talks talks about the B-Hill system and how his system is just derived from that. And okay. It's, it's basic stuff, you know, long run on the weekends. Love intervals it. on Tuesday yep. or Wednesday and you know a strength session or maybe Friday or Saturday and we do that week after week and, and it works and yep. uh, you know I think all the personalities mesh well with it uh, and I think you know if I could pick out a few personalities I'd say Frank is obviously one of them Shout out, you yep. know, he's a, we got to have him on we'll get yeah, him on. yeah he's a successful runner for one but He's just, he's just always having fun. I, I think yesterday, I can think of, we, we did a, a long run, yep. a glycogen depletion run. Wow. And, uh, you test how often in that? At the end or? Yeah, well, so we're, we just kind of go with it fasted. Got uh, it, you know, got don't, it. don't eat it, don't have anything carb based in the morning. Yeah. But it's like everyone else is bogged down for not having carbs in the morning. But he's happy. <laughs> he's like jumping around for wow. the for two and a half hours pretty right. much. And Did he have a Starburst uh, stash yeah, or something? Yeah, he must have snuck something. But, <laughs> you know, it, it's like you see people just peek out at these different times. There's uh, Austin Dahlquist. You know, he yep. if you get him on the track, he's like as happy as can be. Oh, like, nice. He's like a... He's like a he's like a puppy on the track. You know? <laughs> he's just like you can't. All right. Uh, <laughs> if we do an episode with him, we're on the track. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Get him on the track. Maybe eight loops on the track. He'll <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, and, and so it's it's a uh, it's a great group, and like I say, it's foundational. And so there are different moments where pe- different people shine. Yeah. Because you know, with all the all the elements of it, like there's a chance for the speedy guys to shine. Yeah. A chance for the heavy endurance guys to shine and it's it's a uh, you know all the blows are even you know yes yeah exactly you'll get them next time kind yeah of thing. all right i want to make sure we're finishing up here a little bit approaching the end i kind of want to go rapid fire um with you so i want to go favorite person uh to compete against favorite person to compete against uh, let's see 
I think it's changed over the years. Okay. Uh, in college. Naturally. Yeah, naturally. <laughs> but in college, it was Zach Panning. He's with okay. uh, Hansons. Yep. The other Hansons. Uh, yeah, in Michigan. Uh, yeah, in Michigan. Uh, now, you know, I think it's a mix. I, I, I can't say I always compete with him, but I always enjoy being on the line with yeah. him. Yeah. Is Connor Mans. Nice. Yeah, yep. it's like he's he's just got a good head on his shoulders, and I am like, you know, he's younger than me, but that's a good yeah. <laughs> but I'd like to I'd like to be like him. He know? brings juice for yeah, sure. Yeah, he brings yeah. Uh, the energy, and yeah. he really like elevates the whole field. And so it's like whenever my name is close to his on the start list, I'm pretty excited. That's good. Yeah. yeah. What about best race you've witnessed or watched, but you weren't in? Yes. Uh, so. I have the story of my redshirt freshman year at Adams. I I went out to the Portland Track Festival. Yep. And I was getting ready. I was kind of nervous for my race. Is that Lewis so, and Clark? Yeah, Lewis and Clark yeah. College. I was getting ready for my race, and I put on headphones, and I just was like, okay, I'm gonna close my eyes for a few minutes. Right. Uh, and as I was doing that, Evan Yeager was Ooh. running 332, oh, I <laughs> like right around me, and I, I did not know any like what was going on, and I didn't witness it. Well, because you're so locked in, that's a yeah. testament to you. Yeah, I was just like locked in, listening right. to iTunes, and uh, just. What do you got? Ice spice on the <laughs> audio? What are you bumping? Yeah, I, I mean, at the time, I wouldn't know what I. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't know what I was listening to. Maybe like some, some old school hip hop. Maybe like yeah. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Or, oh, nice. Yeah. You know, Something in the 90s. Let me see. I, I wanted to ask your favorite flavor, LaCroix. Oh, uh, I'm going to say Pomplemousse. Great grapefruit. Okay. Yeah. That's actually a good call. Yeah. And then also in April of 2018, you were the fastest 5K in the NCAA uh, with a 1329. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Did you, were you aware of that? And do you remember who broke it? Oh, uh, who, who beat my time yeah, that? Yeah. Uh, was it Morgan McDonald? I don't know. <laughs> I'll put the answer yeah. up. But... <laughs> yeah, I think it was that. I, I, I ended up being fourth that year. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, congrats on the stuff that we touched on Ultra. Yeah. Upcoming wedding in July. Yeah. Sid's got stuff going on. Make sure you follow him. And uh, thanks so much, bro. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Happy Appreciate to, it. Happy to be here. Thank you.